Good morning and welcome back to Hyderabad. Today we are going to show you something a little bit different. We've explored the old city, some of the tourist sites, tried possibly the best biryani in the world. But today we're going to show you the modern side of Hyderabad, one of the most modern cities in all of India in fact. We're actually staying in the business district which is like one of the biggest business hubs in not only India, in all of South Asia. We're actually staying at the Sheraton Hotel and this is what you can get for around £100 a night. I'm drinking a coffee next to the pool and for some reason none of the Indian tourists in Hyderabad like to go swimming. This is needed. We have just had an absolutely humongous breakfast. There was slightly too much to choose from and it becomes kind of overwhelming because you don't know whether to have all curries or eggs and hash browns but we tried a little bit of everything so I do need to get in and swim. Today we're going to basically just check out the financial district, the business district and also high tech city. Now high tech city was opened back in 98 and it was basically created for people to be able to go to work and live in the same location like i think back then that would have been a really new and unique concept um, and also here there is the tallest building in south india i don't know where that is it's kind of crazy it after crazy. the last couple of days exploring you would not think we're in the same city you're just surrounded by sky rise buildings um, and it just looks completely different That is definitely the best way to start any day, a coffee and a swim. But we are now out in the business district of Hyderabad. And this is like nothing we have seen so far in our time in India. It's just full of greenery, these huge big roads with hardly any traffic and just full of sky rises, apartments, businesses. And apparently in the city, they started a scheme. So the walk to work scheme so anyone that works for any of the big businesses or the big hotels they made the streets very accessible so you can walk hence no traffic this is crazy i've never seen so few cars so few people in india for such a built-up area it almost feels like a ghost town but again you can see behind me there's huge banks of course you're gonna find some street food this is crazy it really is i mean this feels like a ghost town doesn't it compared to like what other indian cities have felt like this is so so calm it's like so bangkok quiet. with no people <laughs> Five hundred, are they? Uh, it's like two oh, miles away. Yeah. One hundred. One hundred. Oh, no. It's two miles away, and there's no traffic. High tech city. Yeah, yeah high tech city. It's just down here. No, no. It's okay. I'll go with someone zero, else then. Zero. No, no, no. This is crazy price. Come on. This give is us this, good this price. is puggle price. Three zero zero, madam. How much? Three zero zero. Three zero zero. No, it's okay. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, bad. That's crazy. Five hundred <laughs> to go two miles along a road that is empty it is literally a five minute drive to where we want to go in high tech city and he's asking for 500 rupees that really annoys me on uber it's only 100 how can you charge five times more i don't mind a little bit i don't mind a little bit more but not five times more Namaste. Hello, what's up? Thank you, Danyabad. Uh, 7210. 7210. Danyabad, thank you. That is one thing I also really like about Uber out here is that you have to verify your trip with your pin so you always know you have the right driver. Chalo to High Tech City. This is definitely a rare 
security in India. We are on the main road in a business district and there is nobody at all, literally one other bike on the road. Ridiculous. And welcome to High Tech City. I don't know exactly whereabouts in High Tech City we are. We got the rickshaw to the metro station so we could then just explore the entirety of the area. But on the way in, you start seeing all the tech companies, Amazon, Microsoft, and look at this. As you walk up the Skyway walkover, it tells you how many calories you burnt. Someone took the escalator. <laughs> I'm not going to Ikea. I don't even like Ikea. Do you know what? We Do we have one Ikea in I've the UK? I've never been. I have never been to it Ikea. It would be good fun, but I'm, I'm not, not starting. doing it. This is very different. Like Molly said, we are walking along the Sky Bridge, going past all sorts of businesses. NTT Data, Amda, Satva, I have absolutely no idea what any of them are, but if I showed you this, if I walked through here and I showed you that view, you'd probably say Singapore, Tokyo, I don't know. Definitely not Hyderabad. Genuinely? I'm very, very impressed. This skywalk goes on forever, connecting all the different businesses, all the different malls, all the different bars. Being that it's the tech hub, the business hub, a lot of the workers after work, they're gonna want a beer, maybe a cocktail, maybe some food, maybe a luxury mall, I don't know. I don't know what the Indian tech workers like to do after work, but they've definitely built a lot of bars and restaurants for them. fancy new big buildings but then there is a lot of things that are slightly unfinished and you can see all of the workers are walking to their next construction job but yeah like this road that we're walking on right now is like unfinished and a little bit dusty you can see like to the left building new building in front new buildings I it's mean, like a contrast I, I feel for these guys because it is it's unbearably hot so hot i mean look at these make my home bouger i think you already have they're ridiculous these are some of the high-end apartments that you can find in high-tech city i've been i've been interested to know how much they cost how much like a one two bedroom apartment in a place like this is because you're just surrounded by like imax cinemas tea works whatever tea works is but these look ridiculous wow but we are not going to the Bouja apartments because obviously we're not Bouja enough for them. We can't afford them. We are heading to the Red Rhino, but behind me, I think, is the main tech street. Microsoft, Synergy, and I think there, this building here might be where we're looking. Probably the fanciest brewery you'll see. So there we go. There are all the tech companies and this is us, the this Red is actually an Rhino. This building as well, but just at the bottom of it that opens at lunchtime, they have a Red Rhino, which is like a brewery. They obviously open it for the, the office workers, workers to get drunk at lunchtime. <laughs> for two, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you, bad. So this is Red Rhino. This is where the tech company workers hang out at lunch or after work and it is extremely expensive. I don't know if that's the case for the whole of high-tech city that's much more expensive than 
not just the rest of Hyderabad, but the rest of India so far. So I have been recommended the Black Pearl Robust Stout, and for 500 mil, it's 425 rupees. So it's nearly double what you'll pay anywhere else, and even a bottle of water in here. It's very hot, we need hydrating. 150 rupees. Thank you, Daniel. Oh, these look good. They look really good. Thank you very much. So Amazing. this is the stout? Yes, sir. It's stout. Thank you very much. And are all of the yes. drinks, their drinks are made here? Yes, sir. Drinks, the are, all our drinks are made here. Amazing. And when did you first open? Uh, we are open. It's been a year, sir. One year? Ah, amazing. Thank you very much. Then you've had. Wow, look at this. Cheers, Cheers. to the Red Rhino Stout and American Lager. Oh, it's delicious. It's really, really good. Acha, thank you. <laughs> No wonder it was expensive. This is fancy <laughs> looking water. I've ever seen. Never mind. Evocus. So let's try the Black Pearl Stout. Oh, he was right when he said it's a little bit bitter. <laughs> Six and a half percent. So it's going to be a bit pokey. But like the gentleman said, this place has been open a year and I feel like. That's going to be the case with a lot of things in high tech city. Obviously, it started back in the early 90s, but every year, new businesses, new tech companies, new malls, new craft beer bars. <sighs> Cheers. That was a very nice spot, that, the Red Rhino, but we have now walked about 10 minutes to the Orbit, what is the name of this mall? Uh, this is in Orbit, Orbit Mall. In it's Orbit it's Mall. In Orbit Mall. Yeah, it is the biggest. It's good? Yeah. It's the biggest. Yeah. yeah. The biggest in Hyderabad. Yeah. Ah, okay. Is it a good mall? Yeah. Good okay. mall. Then you've had by sub. Okay, yeah. we've walked to the In Orbit Mall, supposedly the biggest in all of Hyderabad. I don't really know why. I'm not the biggest <laughs> fan of malls, but I mean, it's high tech city. So this is the In Orbit Mall. I'm not sure if it is, but the people outside said the largest mall in all of Hyderabad has everything. It's huge. It's not necessarily the most modern of malls, but it has absolutely everything you could look for. But we're heading up to check out the food court because apparently this is one of the best places in high tech. This is one of the best places in high tech city to get some food. So apparently this place is one of the most famous for biryani. But apparently it's not very good. Yeah, I mean, it looks busy, but then so does everything else. You have everything you could ever want. You have your McDonald's, you have your KFC, you have your Domino's, you have Taco Bell. Um, I'm seeing if like McDonald's does its own version of biryani. <laughs> Pick the wrong day. Don't go to Indian malls on a weekend. The queue to get some food, outrageous, absolutely outrageous. But we've actually realized just outside of the mall is the cable bridge that crosses this really cool lake. I don't really know where we're going. <laughs> we're just wandering. It kind of looks like this is an island, doesn't it? With the way the rocks are surrounded, you'll notice throughout We've been told that you should try it, and in specifically, you should try a Hyderabadi KFC. I don't know what the difference is going to be, but I'm intrigued to try it. I am. This is going to be our first time trying an Indian American fast food chain. So, obviously, like in McDonald's, they're not going to have the beef, but KFC's chicken, so it should really be a full menu. This is so random. This is really random. Is it good? The bit, yeah? The popcorn and chicken biryani bucket. <laughs> so the Hyderabadi KFC menu is pretty similar to what you get back at home. So you've got your typical snack wraps, snack burgers, 
then you've got like your paneer vegan burgers you've obviously got to get a little bit of paneer in and then the randomest thing ever is because you're in Hyderabad they do their own biryani at KFC I don't know if this is the only is this the only KFC that does biryani only in Hyderabad yes that's crazy so only in Hyderabad you can get biryani with your KFC thank you very thank you very much beyond excited to try <laughs> KFC biryani. So, we get a spicy gravy. Can you hold that a sec, please? And then you get... This is so random. <gasps> the biryani bucket. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Okay. Get my spoon. Look at this. Ready? So, it's literally... Where's the rice? Underneath? Oh yeah! Crispy chicken and biryani rice. So KFC signature crispy chicken and biryani rice. Let's try the rice. Mm. You're not telling me it's good. I am. It's interesting. It doesn't taste like fast food rice. It's really fresh. Chicken is good. Pour some of this on, please. You want some on? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Do you want me to? I'm holding it. I've got it. Like pour out oh, it smells good. Smell that. Oh. A lot or a little? Yeah, a tiny bit. A oh. little bit more. A little bit more. Perfect, thank you. Do you know what that smells like? It smells like a masala, doesn't it? You alright to hold it? Okay. Wowzers. This is so interesting. Okay, right, I've smothered the rice and the chicken. It is a masala sauce, I think. Yeah, it is. Or masala gravy, I have no idea. A masala gravy, that's what they call the sauces, right. Mm. That's delicious. A biryani. That's a KFC. Let's do this. <laughs> bit of rice, bit of chicken. It kind of works. Because it's a crispy chicken, it sort of tastes a little bit like a katsu curry. It's good, isn't it? Mm. 209 rupees for a drink. I wasn't expecting KFC biryani to be like that. I'm glad we tried it. I just find it really funny that Hyderabad have created their own menu. Don't you think? Yes, like... He told me this is the only place you can get it. I don't know if he's wrong. <laughs> But he said this is the only place you can get biryani at KFC. I hope he's correct because it's really unique. But I will show you where we have been staying here at the Sheraton in Hyderabad. Um, the area that we're staying in, as we said, is the financial district. And we have a humongous view that looks out over to like a green park and all the high rise buildings. We have our huge bed. I really like the local photos of the artwork, like the stonework. I'm not sure exactly where that is, but it looks very very interesting we have our tv we have our desk area they also gave us like a really cute little welcome pack on there this is one of my favorite features the bath that has you can watch tv from the bath look at this ready and that starts to come down like you can Perfect, see it because no one wants to see you in the bath <laughs> but actually we are marriott bonvoy members and basically we collect points at lots of the hotels that we stay in under the Marriott group and you can redeem them for extra nights you can get it on your food and spa packages as well so we always pick one with the Marriott Bonvoy program anyway as it is our last night before leaving Hyderabad we thought we would check out the club lounge at the hotel hello Wow, this is nice. This is so nice. So we actually have the club room, which means you get access to the lounge. There's so much in here. Does it include alcohol? It does. Ah, yeah. now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> God, there's so much. Oh yeah, look, there's the bar. What should we get? A small bar. <laughs> what do you What do you recommend yes, from the bar? Do what you have Kingfisher? Do you have yeah, Kingfisher? Sure. Uh, which one you basically like? Uh, I'll make my own drinks also. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. This is a little bit of all right. So for a little bit extra at the hotel, you can use the lounge between 5.30 and 7.30. And I wasn't certain whether that would include alcoholic drinks, but as soon as we came in, <laughs> that lady said, there is a bar. Cheers. Cheers. And all sorts of snacks. There's like a table full of like 
little fancy snacks and we can get cocktails. We really can't eat too much because we do have dinner at one of the restaurants here tonight. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy my Kingfisher Ultra. Is this the Ultra? Yeah. With the view. We have a great it's view a, from um, our Look lab. at this. View over the high-tech city Cheers. of Hyderabad. Cyberbad. Cyberbad. It's almost as if the hotel knew what my new favourite dish is. <laughs> oh. I never thought I'd see the day using chopsticks in India. I'm using it well as well. Mm. We have too much sushi. I think we may have over ordered, but it would be rude not to when it's this good. This is ridiculous. I've been in India, need 10 days, need two weeks. I don't know if this is rude to say. This might be the best food we've had, and it's not India. Can't lie, I want to roll in to bed and sleep for a very long time. The food at Zega is unreal. As Matt said, one of the best food or possibly the best meal we've had out here. Tomorrow, bright and early, we are jumping on a flight from Hyderabad to the islands. We will see you somewhere special here in India. We can't wait.